Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I kind of want to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on kind of like the way Bleed kind of currently works in the beta since it's been completely reworked and kind of just trying to make a full-on Bleed character. Before I show some footage and gameplay and talk about this, I do want to back up some of my information with some stuff that GG posted on. Uh, GG actually nerfed a couple of ailment support gems, meaning that most most bleed builds got nerfed as if they already couldn't really do much damage. Um, which is okay though, because they specifically stated though that, uh, where is it? Where's the ailment change here? Poison? Let me search it. It's here somewhere. Okay. Um, so this is kind of a key little note to read. We're almost happy with the potential levels of Ignite and Poison damage. Note that they didn't say anything about Bleed here. Um, as a result of the heavy investment at higher levels, uh, we'll be working on fine-tuning these options and tools to influence them throughout the progression. We're going to be making more extreme changes to Bleed in the weeks to come, including the potential of a new Bleed-focused Keystone. This is something really important to take into account when I do express, you know, kind of currently how Bleed is. So with that being said, I do believe as well, Deadly Ailments got nerfed, I think. Or sorry, not the, un, where, where is it? Where's the fucking, uh, Perfect Agony. The Perfect Agony Keystone will grant 30% of Critical Strike Multiplier and 30% less hit damage. So, currently what it does now is it's, uh, modifiers to Critical Strike Multiplier also apply to Damage Multiplier at 75% of their value. Does this mean that you do even less damage, so you do 30% less and you only get 30%? of your crit multi instead of 75. I don't really know exactly how that works. GG's wording always confuses me. So that's one thing to take into account too. Anyway though, enough with this stuff. Let me go ahead and get on with the video that I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. Uh, play? Windows Media Player? Okay, so in this footage that I'm showing here, it's basically me leveling with a six link. Uh, pretty much, you know, everyone levels with a tabula rasa these days, so it's no problem. And I'm also using, I think it's called the Harvest Sight, the Blood Sight, it's whatever. It's an axe, it's a two-handed axe that got buffed in the beta. And the main focus of this buff is it has a 100% bleed chance. Because, you know, builds don't really feel consistent if you're saying, you know, playing a chance to ignite build and you only have 25% ignite chance. That's like not really enough to make the build feel you know, too well. Um, so this character is not even crit yet. I have crit nodes already specced and whatnot. That doesn't really matter. It's just to kind of show you that leveling up with bleed didn't really feel that bad. You know, before monster scaling becomes extreme, it actually felt like quite okay to kind of level a character up with bleed. Um, it just didn't really feel that bad at all. Like bossing was no problem. You had a ton of multipliers. You would slow targets because of maim if you use the maim support and whatnot. And overall, it just felt really nice. Um, now, the transitioning to crit is kind of what killed it for me because when I transition to crit, obviously it's going to be a lot more demanding to try to get bleed because not every build can just get 100% bleed chance for free. It's, it's a lot more difficult than it would may seem. Um, so the inconsistency kind of came in there and then I made a video kind of covering it and some people I feel didn't really fully understand it and they were commenting completely irrelevant where basically they were like, well, you don't have good accuracy or bleed damage isn't good and it's like... Accuracy has nothing to do with bleed damage. Like, what are you, what are you even talking about? Um, so overall, I felt that as I kind of got higher level, I was running out of ways to scale bleed. And I thought that, um, you know, the node that I basically picked up for changing my crit multi into, like, damage of time crit multi would make a big difference. But it, honestly, I, I was, I didn't even notice a difference. Uh, and I had 300 crit multi and I just felt like either I was doing something incredibly wrong, which I didn't understand, uh, or there just wasn't enough assets really to make bleed work. Um, so thankfully when I read that post and they said they may be putting in like a bleed node specifically, I was like, okay, so that makes sense. I'm, I'm not retarded. It's okay. You know, bleed is not really intended to be its sole purpose of damage as of right now, but I think that's what they wanted. Um, on other news, I think it's totally fine to support bleed in regular builds. Like for example, the bleed gem actually gives flat fizz, which is great for attack speed builds, one handed builds, etc. And then you would just get free bleed added on to your damage. It's nothing really too extreme, but hey, it might help you with just clearing white mobs and stuff. Um, it also makes a cool sound, right? And I feel like maybe in the future there's going to be more uniques associated around bleed and that would really buff builds that benefit off of it rather than making it its sole purpose of damage because that's, that's kind of difficult to do right now. So overall, I'm happy to say that I would like to revisit bleed in the future when they do some more patches to it, like specifically if they make that bleed keystone, I'm really excited to play like a bleed reign of arrows character 
um, specifically because I don't really want to play a melee guy. Uh, I feel like melee and bleed is kind of counterintuitive because the whole point of bleed is to hit the target and make them kind of run at you and die before they run at you. Whereas you could just go AFK as a melee character and then you don't really showcase anything, you know? Um, so that's kind of like what I thought of as of right now. I was pretty happy with how Sunder interacted though because Sunder is basically a ranged skill, so even though it's tagged as melee, it fits that. And because it releases the shockwaves, I believe each shockwave rolls a chance to bleed. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh, because it's a physical source of damage. So even though I lost my 100% chance to bleed, the Sunder actually did make it feel a lot better. But I think it's a lot more suited to basically put, being put on ranged characters. Uh, and it was kind of just a fun mechanic to play around. I don't know, I like the whole damage over time stuff. I hit level 100 with Blight, and I feel like damage over time is kind of something I really want to jump into in Path of Exile. And I'm excited because this seems like it's going to be the expansion for it, and I really hope that they don't fuck it up because it's what I'm really looking forward to. That and Spectres, but Spectres, I don't think we're going to see much hope for them in a little while. So anyway, that's pretty much about it. I hope that this information helped you guys out a little bit. I hope maybe you could learn something from it. Um, yeah, maybe wait a little bit to make a full bleed character until a little bit later. Uh, but anyway, you know, it's whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.